Welcome to Mongoose channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect a device to an MQTT server and build a web UI that displays MQTT status and publishes MQTT messages. We will be using an STM32 development board and the HiveMQ public MQTT server. Visit mongoose.ws and open Mongoose wizard. Start a new project. Select the target directory where the generated project will be stored. Choose the target architecture, Nucleo F756ZG, but you can use any other board. The procedure will be identical. We could use Zephyr, Cube, or VS Code as the build environment, but let's stick with the bare metal makefile to keep things quick and simple. Choose a blank dashboard, click Next, then click Finish. Click Generate. This will create a bare metal project in the output directory. Start the serial console, run make build flash to build and flash the firmware. Open the device's IP in your browser. The blank dashboard is served by our device. Now let's inject an MQTT client to our firmware. Go to Mongoose GitHub repository, click on tutorials, MQTT, MQTT client, main.c and copy paste MQTT client code to main.c. Let's review its logic. We define several variables for the server address, publish and subscribe topics, the quality of service, and the MQTT connection handle. Two helper functions handle publishing and subscribing. The MQTT event handler subscribes to the Rx topic when the connection to the server is established and echoes any message received on the Rx topic back to the TX topic. This TX Rx mechanism implements a request response pattern. This snippet responds to a ping request, keeping the MQTT connection alive. Finally, when the connection is closed, we invalidate the MQTT connection pointer. The timer fn function acts as a reconnection timer. It reconnects to the MQTT server if the connection is closed, and if the connection is open, it sends a ping. Ping pawn exchanges allow these connections to be detected quickly. The connection options specify the last will message. So when the device disconnects, the server automatically sends a buy message to the TX topic. So the only thing we need to do to activate the MQTT client is start a reconnection timer after Mongoose init. Let's call it periodically every second. Rebuild and refresh the firmware. Open the HiveMQ web client. Connect and subscribe to the MG123 hash topic. Publish a message to the MG123RX topic. The device responds on the MG123TX topic. Reboot the device and observe the buy last will message. Great, it works as expected. Let's add the MQTT connection panel to our dashboard. Add the container. Add an icon indicator. We will make the icon gray when the connection is lost and green when the connection is active. Go to the REST API editor and add a state endpoint of type data with a Boolean attribute named connected. For the icon, set the CSS color using a conditional expression. When state connected is true, use draw color, otherwise use BG color. Next, add another REST API endpoint of type action and name it connect. Add an action button and bind it to the connect endpoint. Set the button's title conditionally. When state connected is false, show connect. When it's true, show disconnect. In the settings tab, Set the integration mode to existing project and click Generate. 
copy the default endpoint handlers to main.c. First, let's implement the state handler. Create a Boolean variable as connected, defaulting to false. Set it to true when the MQTT server accepts the connection and set it to false when the connection is closed. In the state getter, assign the value to the connected attribute. For the connect action, create another Boolean variable, s must connect. In the start connect function, toggle its value. In the check connect function, return true if s must connect does not equal to s connected. This indicates that the connect action is still in progress. Change glue prefix to my prefix. Override the handlers by calling Mongo set HTTP handlers. Rebuild and refresh the project. Refresh the dashboard. Click the button to disconnect and connect. Now let's add another panel for sending MQTT messages. Add two input fields, one for the topic and one for the message and an action button to publish the message. In the REST API editor, add an endpoint of type local with two string attributes, topic and message. Then add an endpoint named publish of type action. Bind the input fields to the topic and message attributes. And bind the button to the publish endpoint. Specify the parameters as a JSON string containing the topic and message. Click Generate and copy the default endpoint handlers to main.c. In the checker function, return false, indicating that the publish action is instantaneous. In the start publish function, fetch the topic and message from the past parameters, strip the surrounding quotes, and publish the message if the MQTT connection is alive. Rebuild and refresh the project. Refresh the dashboard. Click the Publish button and verify that the message is published. That's it. We have implemented an MQTT client, made it respond to commands sent on the Rx channel, and added a web UI for controlling the MQTT connection and sending MQTT messages. Hit like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.